Welcome back, chaps. Welcome back to some more Star Ocean, the Divine Force. First of all, I've got to apologize for the uh, the audio of the last few videos. Uh, I've been tweaking audio settings. Hopefully this will sound better. I really do apologize for that. But um, as you can see, we're back in Rythal. Uh, off screen, I managed to get the remaining axe beak feathers, so we're going to hand in the quest while we're here. But um, looks like we could also have a chat with Albert, and this is probably another private action, so here we go. I am sorry to have worried you. After sufficient rest, there should be no cause for concern. Or maybe it won't be. <laughs> or maybe it won't be a private action. God damn it, I got all excited then. Ah, but there is another reason why we are back here. Uh, off screen, I have practiced a little bit of the old Essoa. Or Essoa. And uh, so we're, we're going to get some revenge. Also, shiny. So exquisite. Yes, but um, let's hand in this quest. I think it was this woman, wasn't it? Oh, what? Glad to be of assistance. But do I, do I actually get to stay at the inn for free? Also, I just got a ton of money then. Um, I think the reward that we get for your quests... Either I'd like to see it in this window, it pops up really quickly then. Like, I didn't even see what the other thing we got was. I don't care how fluffy the bed is. No jumping up and down on it, okay? I've seen you folks zipping around out there left <laughs> and right, but in here, you behave yourselves. You hear? Okay, no doom indoors. I get I get the message. Um, thankfully, in the item or inventory section, we do have a new item section. But, looks like... Okay, so we didn't get anything. Was it just money? Uh, I might have to check that. It could also be... Anyway, it doesn't matter. We got the quest done. We got quite a lot of money for that. We've got nearly 12,000 fall. And yeah, so that's good. I think the rest of the side quests we'll have to wait on. I don't think we can do those right now. But yes, there's a certain apprentice little shit stain down here that uh, I think I think we should uh, we should have a rematch with. Oh, hey, Ray. Oh, sorry, Ray. Sorry. Personal boundaries. Sure, yeah, yeah, Maester Marcus was mad. But he probably has his reasons. I'm sure you got through to him, though. Uh, yes. So, um, as part of the... Yeah, let's have a quick recap of the story, because... A lot happened, actually, I think. Let's see. Collection. Main story. So... Um, yeah, Helga's disease. Upon arrival in Rythal, Nina describes uh, the party the state of Helga's disease. Uh, she's trying to research it. She needs to go to the Semiomancy Consortium uh, for that. Albert collapsed and he's not feeling too well, so we've got to go back to the uh, the Mar Mar Marcus dude in Delric to let him know that um, yeah, so, so Albert Albert's in trouble or. Maybe. I don't know what's up with him, but um, we also do want to go back to Delric because we saw Welch, didn't we? Yes, we did. Uh, a very, very interesting woman. Let's put it that way. I can't wait to go see her. Okay, but first, yes, we've got some, uh, some children to make cry. Hello, you little bastard. Remember me? Well, now I think I have a better understanding. I think I have a better understanding of Essoa. Uh, so, we're going to start our game. I'm not worrying about editing my deck right now. We should be good enough to beat him. And, uh, yeah, spoiler alert. I have already beaten him. <clears throat> I actually wiped the floor with him. Whether or not I still have a perfect understanding of this game, it remains to be seen. Um... I said still, I, I've never had a perfect understanding of this game, as you saw when we played it for the first time. But I think at least I have a better, you know, I, I, I've slightly more clear to me what this game's all about. So uh, we're going to place an elite on the board. So pretty much what happened last time we played this, we got trapped, we got surrounded really quickly. And so the best thing we can do now is just avoid that, first of all. I'm not going to really worry about what pieces I put down. 
I'm going to more worry about not getting my troops uh, taken off the board. So, right. Uh, and yeah, it does seem, it seems pretty random which pieces get thrown into our usable uh, stockpile here. I think it, I, it, I think it's random. You guys probably know much more than I do. Um, so if we put like three soldiers down, we'll be able to place an extra pawn, uh, which is good. Gunners obviously reduce our opponent's MP. I'm not worried about that right now because he's only got one. Uh, and berserkers now. Berserkers seem like a bit of a double-edged sword. When you put them near other pawns, they decrease their attack. Um, so you want to have those like far away from the rest of your uh, pieces. But they obviously do a lot of damage. So it seems like this game's going to be pretty deep. Uh, simple to, to kind of get the basics down, but I reckon it's going to get quite complicated when we start playing higher level people with like bigger boards and different kinds of pieces. So um, for now, we're going to pop down a soldier and I'm going to put you... Um, I'm going to put you there for now. Oh, you reduced my MP, you son of a bitch. Well, you've just made your first mistake, though, pal, because, unless I've misunderstood this, which is very possible, we, um... Put a soldier down. I think we've just surrounded you, buddy. In fact, we surrounded both of those. So, yes, that can happen. And it's very good, because now they have no attack, although they just put down an elite is annoying. But I have an elite as well. I could put that down, and I might do... Uh, oh no, that's a berserker, sorry. That's a berserker, so... Ideally, I wonder if it... Does it count with my pawns as well? If I put a pawn next to that thing, will that reduce its attack? Let's throw down one of our elites and see if that happens. Although, saying that, I don't want to put you in that corner, because that is just asking for you to be surrounded. So let's put you there. It does reduce their attack by 30. Okay. Alright. And, yeah, because he put a piece down next to his Berserker as well, that reduced his Berserker down to zero, which is quite silly. Uh, current, if things stay as they are, we will win. But, um, he has got quite a bit of MP now, so... I think we should put down a gunner. And I think I'm going to pop you there. Which isn't surrounded. Okay. Ugh, I, love I love the way she sighs. She's like, oh my god, for fuck's sake. Uh, right, we got berserk. Oh, just berserkers. Oh, we could put another soldier down, though. Uh, let's pop you... There. And yeah, because we've got three soldiers down, I can put another pawn. So now we can surround all three of their pieces. And I'm going to do that with, um, with an elite. Oh, that triple kill. Beautiful. Look at that damage. Oh, I should have actually... I should have... Should have used my MP there before he had a chance to reduce it. Ooh, we can use Ashton. When placed on the board, inflicts damage equal to its attack. So basically, yes. Yeah, regularly, just more powerful. Okay. Um, I think we should probably put you in the middle. I've got three MP. Actually, so let's, let's spend some MP and do 200 extra damage. With a flame charge. Uh, and let's pop Ashton down in the middle. Ho oh, ho ho ho, we've got you on the ropes, bud. Look at the damage, look at the HP difference already. Ah, oh, he's enfeebled me. Which has weakened me slightly. But I'm still not worried. We can... I think we've basically won this already. Um, pop the gunner down, just because, why not? Goodbye, sir. 
We've killed a lot of your pieces. I, I, I just don't think uh, you can feasibly win this. Because I can surround both of your pieces there if I wanted to. Well, not both at the same time, but... Only problem is I only have Berserkers left, so... That's gonna suck, but I'll still get rid of their piece. Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna enjoy this game. I think I am gonna enjoy it. But I did have to practice a little bit off-screen just because I was like, you know what? Just less pressure <laughs> to, uh, you know, learn on the fly. Uh, Eris, I think... Um, a little bit overkill, but why the heck not? That boosts the attack of uh, all the pawns around her, and I think... <sighs> yep, yeah, one more round and we've won. 542 attack, only 416 HP left. It's in the bag, mate, it's in the bag. But let's absolutely humiliate you by just not, have, not letting you have a single pawn on the board. Absolutely. <laughs> it seems I am the victor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, with that, you do gain a rank. So we are now an apprentice and we can probably, yeah, challenge other people as well. Ah, but I think uh, at least now I, I grasp what that mini game's all about. Well, I'm the best whenever I play with my friends at least. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Now again, we just got a bunch of rewards there. I think the main one is, uh, is another piece, a special playing piece, which we will check. Uh, inventory. So yeah, we got Koro, um, which absorbs six percent six percent of damage dealt if we equip it as an accessory. Uh, it's a three star piece, so we should probably add that to our deck before I forget. Now again, I don't I don't really know if I'm going to be doing a lot of S on screen. I think I'll leave that up to you, chaps. Do you want to see more of that? I think it's quite fun, but I don't want to, uh, you know, spend too much time on it on a mini game. Uh, ah, I think it's already been no sixteen out of t soldier elite wizard. Yeah. Okay, so let's get Koro in the deck. There we go. Nice. So maybe you can only have a certain amount of a particular type of piece then. That's probably what it is. Oh, or maybe not. I can... Okay, I've just added another soldier. Again, I feel a little bit cheap using these DLC pieces. Because they are really powerful. But um, that is Eswa. I hope that was a little bit more of a, a better showing of it. Now that I've got, uh, yeah, just generally more of an understanding. And I think that's all we can do in Rythal, although I wouldn't mind finding Nina and just having a word with her. Because I'm guessing she's around here somewhere. If Ray and... What's his face is? Oh, hello. Uh, so, uh, you want to play a Soa? Uh, sure, why not? I got time. I see what you did there. Oh, he's a level 4 master. No, 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 no. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be heading back to Delric in this video. Just check in to make sure I've not missed anything. So I thought I was certain we'd get some private actions. But it doesn't look like it. We just got another sacrificial doll. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad I, I spent a little bit of time off screen just learning that minigame because... Yeah, I... You know, showing showing my first attempt at it is fine, but I I just it's yeah I didn't think it'd be too entertaining to watch me just stumble through that, but it is quite simple. Oh, those Duma points are going to be a pain in the ass to get. In fact, oh look, there's floating plat. Oh, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, let's grab those. Um, I mean, I could, I could fast travel, but the game keeps telling me that I'm going to miss certain events. I think it is just the little conversations we have. Oh, hello. Hey there. You want to see 
see the deck I've assembled? All right, it's your funeral. Buddy. Uh, I would not like to see your deck, sir. Bragging dude. You're a level one master. I don't think I could even if I wanted to examine your deck. But if you could move out the bloody way, thank you. Oh, 30 fall. Wow. Uh, but yeah, that's that's one thing I would say. I, I wish the the items, when they pop up on screen, when you beat someone at Esla or you do a quest, I wish they stayed on screen a little bit longer, or there was a way of checking what you just won. Where is Nina? I want to see Nina. I want to see if she says anything cool. I don't want to miss any private actions. There she is! Sorry, Nina, I keep running into people. We need to go back to Delric and have Dr. Eason examine Albert right away. We will, we will. Okay, so it looks like I haven't missed anything. So, uh, yeah, we can probably just tr uh, fast travel to... outside of Delric. Oh, we could just go straight there, couldn't we? Should we just go straight there? I know it says we'll be unable to witness certain events, but I feel like I've probably... I've basically gone all the way there. So let's just fast travel. Okay, first we hand over the drugs to Dr. Ezen, then we butt heads with him. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, and apparently the voice of Nina is the same as Yuffie from FF7, so that's really cool. I didn't know that. Right then. We have that vineyard family ring we found in Rifle. Oh, yeah. The family is from Delric here, so perhaps we might keep an eye out. Oh, we From what we have been told, they should have quite the establishment. One we are not like to overlook. Oh, we are definitely going there, and I think I know actually now where it is. You remember that, that sign with the big hand? Looked awfully like the stick that that lady was, was carrying, doesn't it? Or didn't it? Yeah. That's probably where it is. Um, I've spoken to you, haven't I? Have I accepted your side quest? Why do those insects ignore everyone else? Oh yeah, you're the one that wants me to kill all the worms. Right. We'll do that at some point. The infirmary was on the west side of the village, on top of the hill. Let us make haste. We will. We'll get there eventually. We're definitely going to go see Welch first, though. As much as Albert's condition might be life-threatening, I, I I think I think this is this is a worthy detour. If we can unlock the item crafting, which I s suspect is what we're about to do, then that's going to make me incredibly excited. I love crafting things in games. All right, yeah, let's avoid going that way for now, just in case it triggers anything. Pretty sure that's the place. It's got to be the big the big area with all the shelves. That we went in. This is it. Pardon us. Yep, here she is. Oh my god, here we go. No way, no way, no way! This is not happening! Where could it be? No! Um, pardon me, but I believe you may have dropped this ring. What? Uh, who are you? Why are you in my... Th that's my ring! Maybe don't drop it next time. Huh? I must have dropped it back in Rifle. <laughs> what a miracle you found it. Thanks! Allow myself to introduce myself. <laughs> I'm the head of a wealthy merchant family. We've been living in Delric for generations. I'm the brilliant, beautiful Welch Vineyard. So humble. I believe the vineyards are a merchant family, who are even well known across Osirius. Is this truly where you reside, Welch? Uh, talk about a low blow. Um, anyway, let's gloss over the minor details. Meanwhile, you picked up my ring, came to find me, and deliver it? <laughs> That's pretty pathetic. <laughs> I mean, uh, what a <laughs> sweetheart you are. <laughs> and since you're so nice, I have a favor to ask. There's this thing that I super totally really need, and I've got a hunch that you're just the right person to get it for me. Easy peasy bunny squeezy, right? <laughs> Don't worry, the quest comes with a reward. Oh. Yes. What's the reward? Magnificent! Okay, 
I gave you my orders. Now make like a tree and get... Uh, I mean... <laughs> Please complete my request as soon as you can. Okay, I I like her already. Welch the compounder. Okay. Acquire and deliver the item requested by Welch. She wants oh, she wants roly poly beans. We've already got them. We've got like we're drowning in them. Excellent. Uh, but yeah, Welch is a recurring character in the Star Ocean series. As far as I'm aware, she's in every game. Um I don't know which one is my favorite from the ones I've really spent a lot of time with. Three this is the one I remember the most, just because I've played three the most, but, um... What is, who is your favorite Welch, chaps? I would love to know, but, um... Let's hand in the quest, let's go! Just how long is that Joker gonna make me wait? It's been like two seconds! They have mud in their ears. I said, as soon as they can... This is as soon as I could! Please excuse the long delay. It was not long! Uh, where did you come from? We never left? Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, what do you mean, delay? That was surprisingly fast. It was, right? Yes, that's exactly what I needed. <laughs> now, by mixing this with that... <laughs> now I've got my hands full. Hold your horses, Buster. Did I say you could leave? It would stain the vineyard name if I let you leave without getting your reward. Did you forget what I said? I will now give you a special lesson in the compounding secrets of the vineyard family. Oh, right. I'd better give this to you, too. As long as you got this baby, you can stay in contact with me from even the most far-off locations. Oh, nice. And since you're quite the subservient, uh, I mean, uh, due to your natural aptitude, I'm appointing you as my personal scavenger. Oh my god. I'll use this to give you a little ring when I need you again, and when I do, you get your butt here right away. <laughs> yes, that is fine. Splendid! And if you bring me the things I request... I'll teach you the item creation secrets of the Vineyard family. Oh, please do. A reward like that ought to get your tush in gear. <laughs> My tush. Alrighty, let's make it happen. Glad to be of assistance. Oh god, her theme is crazy too. Um, we What, we gained eight? She gave me eight fall? That was the reward? She gave me eight fall. Are you serious? And she, and she gave me the thing so she can call me and ask me for other things. Uh, yeah, Welch's communicator. Okay, how's this gonna work then? So we don't have item creation yet, but it does seem like that is gonna be something we're gonna get from her very soon, I hope. What is it? You know I don't need you for anything right now, yeah? Wait, does this mean you want to speak with the beautiful merchant magnate with genius level smarts head of the vineyard family, Welch Vineyard? <laughs> Fine by me. But it'll cost you. I love that she very poorly hides her um, true self, should we say. Right, uh, Welch, yeah, uh, I'll definitely help you out, but you, I think you need help with an interior decorator. Because this place it is looking a little bit bare. A little bit bland. Maybe spruce it up a little bit. So, if someone who dresses as eccentrically as you, I'm surprised you can even stand to look at this place. I mean, at least you have plenty of shelves. You know, that's that's one thing you've absolutely nailed, but... Hmm. Anyway. Let's uh, actually progress the story. I wonder... I'm interested to see how Ray reacts to Welch in that scene, instead of Leticia. Yeah, and more reason to uh, replay, I suppose. Right. Nina! Here you go, Doctor. The, uh, medicine you asked for and stuff. Don't hear you go me, Missy. And what in the name of all that's holy are you doing here? Maester, do not be angry at Nina. She has only brought me here to see you as a patient. Uh, did I hear you right? Dr. Vanell examined me in Rifle. However, he suggested that I get a second opinion from you. These are for you. The referral and my medical records. I'll see what I can do. He seems happy about it. Oh my god! A 
prosthetic, huh? This lasted 14 years? If anyone else but Midas, and it would have fallen apart ages ago. But even he couldn't keep it from deteriorating. He created this prosthesis using semiomancy. It was designed to grow with its wearer, as would true flesh. Wow. Wait, so not only does it move like a normal arm, it grows like one too? How is that not the invention of the century? Right? If only everyone were as elated as you upon its unveiling, things would have been quite different. Maester Eason. You may put your armor back on. I've seen all that I need to. I appreciate Vanel's referral, but I know little about this arm. Midas, on the other hand. All right, I'll tell you. Midas currently resides in the village of Ada. He's your only hope of fixing Albert's prosthesis. <sighs> Thank you so much. A word of caution, he is a peculiar one. It was he the Council directed their ire toward years ago. Persuading him will be no simple task. Nor will it dissuade us. Thank you again. I know you did not have to tell us. Any hiatromancer in my position would have. Wait, so, so um, does that mean we're leaving right now? Indeed. Time is of the essence, and Maester Felgreed is integral to our mission. We cannot afford to waste a moment. Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. Then, um, uh, how do I say this? Nina. Fret not, for I would be honored if you joined us. The more allies I have in this endeavor, the better. You heard the princess. Now see if the doc's cool with it. Okay, I will. So I guess, um, Leticia, I'll be with you in just a sec. Aw, I like Nina. I like all of the cast. <sighs> Dr. Eason, can I ask you something? Of course. What is it? Good luck. <laughs> We need to we need we a healer. Give them some privacy. That we should. Yeah, I want Nina on my team. So She's very useful. Where is this Ada? To the north of the Larkus region, at the summit of a perilously steep mountain. Oh, great. We should provision ourselves accordingly. As an added benefit, Nina will have the time she needs to settle her affairs. Works for me. So are we are we just gonna leave Nina? Nah, that's a bad idea, guys. We shouldn't leave Nina. No, we're gonna rest at the inn, aren't we? And then we're gonna... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I really should listen to what the characters say. Oh, okay, so... While we're back here, I... I am tempted to see if we could maybe play... Another game of Essoa? What? Your inn on this is so a craze, too? Isn't that a game for kids? No. It's a game for super adults. Okay, for someone who's bitching about it and very dismissive of it, how? Why are you a level one master? Hmm. Hmm. Hypocrite. Can't wait to beat your ass at Essel. It's gonna be great. Okay. So I bet there is a lot of stuff in this village that I missed. Target sighted. Oh yeah, quite a few things probably. Uh, let's go. Try and grab a few of those. Didn't I check? Yeah, I've definitely checked down here before. Pretty sure. Yeah, I did. Target sighted. Where the heck are these items? Probably up high. Uh, but yeah, Albed's arm. Holy crud! That is some fancy freaking prosthetic. You know what it reminded me of, actually. Doctor Doom in the in, in the terrible, terrible Fantastic Four film that came out a few years ago. Uh, lo lovingly referred to as Fan Four Stick, I believe. But yeah, it kind of reminded me of, of the way he looked in that. Just not as terrible. Where the heck? Target sighted. Oh my god, there's three items. Oh my god, I've missed so many things.
No, nothing. Okay, can't go behind the house. Anything down there? Uh, now again, I don't want to spend too much time just running around looking for chests. I can do that off screen. Oh, hello. I carry an Asilla rulebook with me wherever I go. Don't you? Let's find out. I wish I did. I probably would have learned it a little bit quicker. Uh, you're a level two man. Why is everyone a master? Where are all the noobs? I want to pawn some noobs. Target sighted. Right. It must be up there. It must be up top. And hey, if we've got to climb a perilously steep mountain, Duma. I mean, that's just going to make it quite trivial, surely. How exquisite. Imagine, you know, if we had that technology in real life, climbing Everest would be like... Well, I, no, saying that, you'd still have to deal with the uh, altitude, wouldn't you? You couldn't just zoom up to, like, 25,000 feet or whatever in an instant. That would really fuck you up quite badly. I am not doing a very good job of finding these uh, chests. I am not doing a very good job at all. Oh, bollocks. Target sighted. It's definitely over there somewhere. The heck is it? Where's this blooming item? Target sighted. Okay, it's there somewhere. Is it by it's not by I can't go behind the house. Is it on top of the house? Can't see there's so much so many bushes. Oh shit. My apologies. See, this is why I, this is why I don't spend time in videos looking for every single thing. Because, oh my god, I suck at it. Right, here we go. Where is this blooming? Where is this item? Target sighted. It's not in the house, is it? Oh, there it is! Oh my god, are you kidding me? Wow. What a very uniquely placed chest. How exquisite. And it's a fire charm, okay. Well, at least I found an- oh my god. At least I found another item. I can't wait for Welch to uh, call us. Very excited about that. I just can't wait to start crafting things. Pardon us. Uh, why did we want to come in here exactly? Hang on a second. Welcome. Feel free to ask. Oh, this is just a shop. Um. Again, no new weapons. We've already checked out all this stuff. We don't need any of this. Although, saying that, padded armor would be good for Albert. And I could afford it, couldn't I? Should I just should I just pull the trigger and buy it? Yeah, we'll buy you some padded armor, Albert. We've got enough money for it. Stop by anytime. Well, that was indeed fruitful. <laughs> that was indeed fruitful. Why did it want me to go in there? Done with her talk by now. Oh! So we return to the infirmary then. Oh, okay. We just had to go do something, and then. Okay, that's realistic at least. Let's hope the doctor uh, gave her his blessing to leave. Oh, she's outside. We got the all clear. How'd it go? Good. He didn't even argue. I just told him I wanted to join the consortium, and he said fine. On one condition, that I don't embarrass the princess. How did you know that he would give his consent? I just know that's how parents are. They don't want their kids to experience the same hardships they did. But at the same time, part of them wants their kids to follow in their footsteps. It's in their blood. And I should know better than most. I followed in my father's. Obviously, the Maesters were pretty pissed at the royal family. Which probably accounts for at least one reason why your old man never mentioned anything about his past. Anyway, he still left you that mountain of research regardless. Just in case you ever decided to become an Iatromancer like him. Plus, Dr. Eason made you his apprentice. What I'm trying to say is, both of them are more than happy to support you in your decision. You think? 
<laughs> I guess they would have. Well, if it took us a trip to Rythel to convince the Doc, who knows what it'll take to convince Midas. So let's get going. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Ray is very perceptive, isn't he? Goddamn. I'm off, Dad. See you around. You're doing proud, Nina. Ah, oh, that was nice. Ah, Nina's back in the party. Right. A couple of things. Again, I've noticed that some dialogue lines follow each other very quickly. Like Ray's uh, little speech then. A little bit awkward how uh, the timing between the dialogue lines is a little bit too close there, but I don't know. It's not that big of a problem. Right. We're off to climb a mountain, apparently. But again, there are a couple more things we can probably grab here, too. Wherever the heck they are. I've definitely explored down here, so it must be up there. Must be something around here. Target sighted. Okay. So either above us or below somewhere. Target sighted. Ah, okay. Is it going to be on one of these random beams? It's going to be really hard to get to. Do you think? Oh crud. Did not mean to do that. Right, let's get let's get up high. All right. Ooh, in fact, could it be? No, it's not in there. Target sighted. It's got to be up. It's got to be up, up much higher. We go up on that rooftop. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. Can we get up there without falling? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, no! We can't land on that rooftop. Are you kidding me? We must... There must be something up there. I'm just, just not quite sure how to get to it. Unless we have to follow that rail track. That is possible. I like this though, a little bit of environmental puzzling, trying to figure out the best way to get to places. Bollocks! You know, I'll just- I'll come back later. I'll do this off screen. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm not gonna find every single chest. Uh, not immediately anyway. Let's just go make some progress. Get some fights. We've not actually fought anything in this video. Almost scan. Okay, nothing in the entrance. So yeah, we could probably we probably could find some people to play. Do you want to play? I'm sorry, I keep bumping into people. You look like you're up for a game of a soa. How about a quick match? You're an expert. No, I can't. Where are all the where are all the freaking basic soa bitches? Oh, I've got, I've got some SP I need to spend too. I should do that right now. Oh, oh, we have a, we have unlocked the creation, crafting. Ooh, this is where you cre uh, you create items to take something. Sorry, to make something, select a character and specify the materials. Item creation also requires fall. Fair enough. Talents. Each character has their own talents. It is easier to create good items if you select someone with a talent compatible with the IC you want to carry out. Yep, that's something that's kind of always been... I, I remember that would be in Star Ocean 3's crafting system for sure. You may unlock a new talent or obtain SP when performing IC. Oh! This will automatically boost IC skills. Item creation. Or add to your SP pool if the skills are at max level. Having an IC support item in your possession greatly increases the chance of creating a rare item. Warning, any amount of items acquired beyond the inventory limit will be sold automatically, even if you create powerful weapons or armor. I think that's what's been happening when I've found certain items out in the wild. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to dive into this. 
Item creation technique unlocked. Compounding. Okay, so there's going to be different things. I'm guessing like blacksmithing. You know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but first of all, compounding. So we can create items with restorative powers. I'm guessing making things like blueberry potions and stuff. Um, who is better at that? I don't know. We're all level 1 compounding, so talent. Nimble fingers. Unbending will. Press square. Okay, makes it possible to produce a rare item during crafting. It also becomes easier to add a good factor. Okay. Unbending will makes it possible to produce a rare item during smithery. Ah, it becomes easier to add a good... Alright, so... Uh, Raymond is going to be a blacksmither. I think when crafting, does that just mean any kind of crafting? Maker's Pride makes it easier to produce an item of superior quality. And Nina has no talent. Oh, Nina. I, I relate so hard. Uh, let's go with Leticia. And I choose my materials. Let's add blueberries. what we're going to make then. It doesn't actually tell. I guess we just have to... Oh no, it does. No, it doesn't. No, that's <laughs> that's the item I'm selecting. So, I wonder if it's a case of just experiment and see what you make. Uh, and if that's the case, let's mix blueberries with a roly-poly bean. Ah, effective item creation compounding. So, yeah, let's try that. What are we going to make? That's a very fancy effect for making a potion. We, have it. Uh, we made a fortitude potion! Oh, cool! But so is 15% defense for 12 seconds. Okay. My first masterpiece! Ooh, yeah, baby. Okay, this seems very basic, but that's not a bad thing. You compare this to Star Ocean 3's crafting system, this is already way better, I can tell. What if we do two blueberries? I'm guessing that's going to make a blueberry potion. Only costs nine fall as well. Is there a primer on this? And there we have it. We did, we made a blueberry potion. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to experiment with all sorts of things. Should we do a game meet with a panacea leaf, maybe? I think that I think if I use roly poly bean or panacea leaf, they might be making the same thing. Just judging on how much money it's going to cost, forty-eight fall. But we'll do a panacea leaf. Is there a primer on this? Oh, we made some vile goop. Okay, not so great, but... Ah, man. I can't wait to unlock the other types of crafting. Yes! Looks like there's going to be a, quite a few as well. There's definitely going to be blacksmithing, but I'm not sure what the other ones are going to be. Oh, fantastic. All right. All right, time to set out for Ada. <laughs> to reach the village of Ada, we must traverse the Larkus Weald. So our first step is to travel towards the Larkus region. Ah, well we wanted to head back there anyway for this other side quest. Apparently there's some worms around there, but I'm really not sure exactly where. Um, 